If there's a phrase that describes the small business experience, it has to be survival of the fittest, right? So what questions do you need to ask yourself and ask your business to make sure that you survive? Well, I've got three for you today, so let's talk about them. Everybody excited y'all are here. My name's Thomas Joyner with Business On Purpose, and just thank you for tuning in, for listening. We got a lot of great content. So in, in, in the crazy pace, right, that most small business owners run, it's easy to run through a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, and never come up for air. I mean, there's sales to make, there's employees to manage, fires to put out, books to reconcile, invoices to send, voicemails to return, tech issues, supply chain issues, angry customers, and whose shoulders does that almost always, without a doubt, fall on? Yep, you guessed it, yours. So how do we make sure that we're tracking and trending the right direction? How can we grab a small ounce of perspective in the midst of the craziness? Well, I would argue that you can ask yourselves three simple questions every single week in an owner's only meeting and have a quick idea if you're on track. So here's where we start. You got to start by putting a 20 to 30 minute meeting on the calendar with yourself. Don't cancel it for anything. If you need to bring in a key leader from time to time or some more employees just to get a different angle, that's completely fine. And in fact, I would really encourage you to do that, maybe once a month or so, but, but cherish this time for the value that it can bring your business. All right, question number one, are we distracted by anything? What a great question to start off with. It forces you to kind of look back at your vision and your mission and, and really look back in the context of where we want to go and why we're going there to ask, is there anything really pulling us away from that? Are there services we're offering, problems that we need to solve, employees holding us back, things we need to say no to instead of just winging it and hoping for the best? Is there anything in our life or our business that is preventing us from moving forward? Write those things down. Keep a list and one by one begin to eliminate them. I think you'd, you'd be surprised by what you come up with when you look back at your vision and your mission weekly. I think it would prevent you from taking detours and keep you laser focused on the goal. And here's the thing. Maybe you realize your vision's off. That's great. But write down the updated vision so that you can keep your team running after it. Distractions hold you back. And if you label them weekly, you can push past and through them towards your mission. You've got to learn how to say no so that you can say yes to the things that only keep you moving towards your mission and your vision. All right, second question, what did I implement this week? We have so many ideas and thoughts every week, but, but what are we truly implementing? What are we getting done? You know, we talked about all the fires and all the things that have to get done, but what about the things that are gonna keep us on track towards our vision and our mission? They're not always operational. You know, I have a client who's incredibly disciplined as a reader and a podcast listener. He's an amazing learner and just kind of consumes an incredible amount of content and information. But where he struggles is implementing that content and that information. So we made this new rule. After each bit of content, whether it's an audiobook, podcast, keynote talk, retreat, whatever, after each thing he consumes, he has to write down and implement one thing before moving on and consuming the next. Right? It's almost like pouring gravel on the road so you're not just spinning your tires in the mud. No, but it gets you on track. It helps your wheels grab hold so it can move the vehicle of your business forward. Because what good is it to consume information after information and, and TED Talk after TED Talk if we're going to do nothing with it? No, we have to be people of action. It's what brings freedom and impact to our businesses. So what if you set aside time each week and either wrote down what you implemented last week or wrote down what you were going to implement this week. Maybe something from your 12-week plan. Good grief, your business would look night and day different in one to two months. But we're so consumed with what's right in front of us, we forget to implement and forget to continue tweaking everything every week. It's about repetition, 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 and asking that question every week. So our third question I want you to ask every week, are we who we say we are? If you're brave enough to be honest with yourself, this question's a game changer. Are we overselling or under-delivering in any way? The answer, it may be yes or no. Or there may be areas uh, where it's a yes and areas where it is a no, right? Maybe it's a combination, but this gives you the freedom 
to take an honest look at who you are and who you say you are. Because those two things need to line up. They need to match up. Just imagine putting these these past two questions working together and, and as you realize where you fall short and then commit to implementing something that would change that answer. That is powerful. That is building your business on purpose. So when are you sitting down and making time for these three questions and who else needs to be in the room? Who else needs to be asked these questions regularly to help give you perspective? Maybe at your next weekly team meeting, you just throw these questions out there and you say, hey, I want y'all to think about them. And if you've got any great answers for them, I want you to come back and share them with me. And you schedule time with each employee to get some of their feedback. But I would wager right now, your business would transform if you had the guts to ask these questions every week for four to six months. It can't help but improve because it keeps you focused on your mission, your vision, and your values. Do it. Be brave and do it. Those three questions again. Are we distracted by anything? Two, what did I do or what did I implement this week? And three, are we who we say we are? Guys, thank you all so much for listening. We don't take that for granted. Um, If you aren't already subscribed to our podcast and YouTube channel, look up My Business on Purpose and just subscribe. It's amazing. Jump on it. It's free content delivered right to you every week. And it's changing businesses all over the country, all over our community, and all over the world. So come be a part of it. Thanks so much. Have a great week. 